Alrighty, everybody. Hey, welcome to the very first episode of, we had it called Wrestling Travel to Lockdown Sessions, but this is going to be called The Crossover because we're going to cross over a little bit from the wrestling world, not too far out of the wrestling world, but I want to welcome from styleandprofile.com, Rich Baker. Rich, how are you doing today? Hey man, yeah, doing all right, thank you, and uh, cheers for the invite to be on the first episode. It's a, an honor and a privilege, sir. You, you got a lot of work cut out for you. You got to be really good on the first episode, you know. Or no pressure. You can always go. Hey, it was the first episode. I didn't have to be that good, so you know. It's, well, it's I got a through several years and several years in my old jobs going. Oh, it's my first day, so uh, I'm sure I'll be <laughs> all right. Perfect. So what I want to do is introduce everybody, Rich Baker. Rich, you are a designer, a graphic designer specifically. Um, you have done a lot of work. Most recently that I know that I know of, and I know there might be more, but you designed some really cool t-shirts for our good friend Alicia Atute. Um, but how long have you been in graphic yeah. design? So my graphic design journey takes me back to oh, the early 2000s when I got first got into the things like photoshop and corel and was just a hobbyist to start with um i've never had any formal sort of training in this side of things so it was a lot of self-taught work i was an insomniac so i taught myself while i couldn't sleep uh, eventually in 2010 started my first business which was beat this drum store uh, it was the first of its kind drumming and percussion store on the isle of wight where i live and i did all my own marketing branding materials um website with some help from my best friend, uh, Joel. And from there, developed my skill set over the next 10 years or so, um, got to 2018, and that was when I started doing wrestling merch and actually applying these these skills to, um, to wrestling design. And then from there, obviously, now we're here. Fantastic. Isle of Wight, they have a music festival every year, don't they? Yes, that is correct. It's the thing that we're most famous for, that and Cow's Week and the Garlic Festival are the three most famous things about the Isle of Wight. Which one do you prefer out of those three? Is it the Garlic um, Festival? Do you know, it's bad, but I've never been. And it's the wow. thing that, like, on the calendar year, there's the three biggest events of the festival, the Garlic Festival and Cow's Week, and I've only been to the Isle of Wight Festival and Cow's Week. So. Wait, the other one is, is Cow's Week? Like C-O-W? Yeah, so, uh, C-O-W-E-S, sorry. Um, it's around the island yacht race. It's quite famous. Okay, all right, because I was thinking cows like moo, and I'm like, dude, that's... Oh, no, that's... no, no, we're, we're not that rural, you know. <laughs> well, I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm like, I can see oh, it, you know. Um, cool. All right, yeah, wait, okay. all right, we'll, we'll get back into the graphic design, but best musical performance that you've seen at the Isle of Wight Music Festival? What, what <sighs> group did you see in your person? Man, I've seen so many. Um, on a personal level, my favorite was seeing uh, Adam Lambert with Queen because um, I saw that oh, with my cool. mum and mum's such a big influence on my music in my early years so she first played me Queen when I was really young and then seeing them with her was really cool but from my own personal taste man that's difficult because there was Muse, uh, the Rolling Stones were epic and wow. Pearl Jam were fantastic as well but I, I'm a drummer myself so I actually got to duet on stage with, um, with a band too playing Wipeout which is pretty cool that's all in Wipeout. That's the ultimate job. My favorite Isle of Wight performance I saw on a United Airlines flight for some reason they had Ellie Goulding's, Goulding's uh, performance okay. from there. And she's, she's awesome and, and, and she's easy on the eyes. So I, I was loving that. I think I watched that. Like, <laughs> I, I love the music, uh, any type of music. And I think the person next to me on the flight thought I was. Uh, you know virtually stalking ellie because i watched it like three Amazing. times because it was it was really good it was cool you know um yeah, gotta enjoy it right yeah absolutely so the isle of Wight. um how long now you're you've you parlayed your skills into the pro wrestling world which as we know mm -hmm. uh t-shirts are everything t-shirts are a lot yes. you know big business and stuff um how long have you been a wrestling fan oh um officially since probably before i could walk um yeah my my late grandfather used to show me the saturday night wrestling british wrestling with big daddy giant haystacks when i was tiny uh, my mum again always tells this story about when i was about three or four and i used to do wrestling moves on myself on a trampoline um down at our local seafront 
and for some reason I was able to sell so I was just I dropped on the back of my neck and sold it like I was dead <laughs> freaked That's everybody awesome. out but yeah I've always loved wrestling That's awesome now besides Alicia what other mm-hmm. kinds of t-shirts have you done because I got to tell you um I think you call it Galaga I look look at Space Invader but that shirt that you did like when Alicia released some shirts and said that this was Rich mm-hmm. Baker that's when I first got to know who you were and I'm like dude this is bloody incredible. Gallagher shirt I'll take do you know what I, I don't have a copy of that that shirt and I'm gutted because it's my favorite of the ones I've done for Alicia that one well actually the playing card one more more recently I, I really like that but the, okay. the Space Invader one as I call it but she calls it Gallagher um Canadian. yeah I I know right we won't tell her we said that but I, I didn't get one. They sold out so quick that I didn't actually get one myself. So I'm I'm bugging her constantly. You've got to re- do another run of those because they're, they're really popular just so I can get one. Absolutely, man. The, the incredible designs. And um, who else? Like some of the other ones have you you've done? A, I know there's a couple of good ones you have in Pro Wrestling Tees. One because mm-hmm. we've talked. But uh, tell me some other shirts and designs that you've had. So up until recently... Oh man, I'm gutted because they had uh, the Killer Cross tarot card one up as well, Carrion Cross as he's now known, obviously WWE. And they pulled it because they've pulled his entire store. And I'm gutted because it was my best seller. <laughs> so I'm like, damn it, there goes another cash cow. Um, but otherwise, Cody uh, with the propaganda shirt, that was the first one I did. Um, Kevin Kelly, I've done a few shirts for him. Uh, Gino Gambino constantly gets me to do bits for him. And he's a wonderful gent. Um, yeah, oh, man, Massa, Fat as Massa to BTE fans. Um, Joe Hendry, I've done bits for him. I've been doing all sorts of things for all sorts of people. Um, so if, my portfolio is on the website, if anyone does want to check it out, styleandprofile.com. Um, it's a litany of, of wrestlers and, and non-wrestling stuff too. Been working with bands and, and various businesses locally. That's cool too, because you're, you're, you are... You're living the dream. I'm not going to say American dream because you're the hell <laughs> right, but you, you're working uh, alongside, uh, you know, spe- specifically of music and pro wrestling, like things mm-hmm. that you actually love and to be able to do that. I mean, that's got to be, that's got to be cool, man. It is cool. I mean, be under no illusion. It's not a dream 24 seven. Like it's a lot of stress and there are periods of time when you sit and you go, man, I wish I had some work to do because you've done it all. And then you kind of sit and there's a lull and then you'll get a day like today, for example, where you just get bombarded with work. So all day it's just been nonstop, but um, it's cool, man. I love it. And I, I wouldn't go back to working for somebody else now having done this. This is now my second business. So I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, I love what I do. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and, and my hope here is that you get bombarded after this interview because <laughs> uh, you do some great work and I love, we're going to have your website on here. Danny's going to go and post production and, and add that in so people can check it out. But if I am a, uh, a pro wrestler, we have a lot of pro mm-hmm. wrestlers that watch this, but I'm looking at a cool design. What's my, what's my first step? Do I email you? Do I just go to the website? Is it a way to, uh, I'm a wrestler. I want some cool design. What if I have like, <laughs> Two things. I'm a wrestler. I got a really good design in my head, but I can't get it out on paper. Or Mm -hmm. I'm a wrestler. I just want to have a cool shirt. I mean, how do I go about working with you? Both of those are equally valid. Um, You can contact me through Twitter. Um, I have my personal Twitter, which is at Rich Baker. Hang on a minute. I need to check. I think it's at Rich Baker Art, right? It's at Rich Baker Art, yes, because I changed it recently and I forgot what it was. (laughs) You can tell I don't go on Twitter as often as I used to. And uh, at Style and Profile, um, but all the links for my business stuff are on the website as well. So there's um, social media links, a message box on the homepage, a Facebook Messenger plugin. There's like you name it. I'm connected everywhere, so you can get hold of me. However, um, if you've got a concept in mind, or if you've just got a desire to have a shirt made, um, I can create concepts as well. Um, it's what I'll do a lot of that with Alicia where we back and forth on stuff, you know, I'll, or I'll be middle of the night. I'll have a brainwave and go, I think this would make a cool shirt. And we chat about it. And that's generally the process with me is like, I'll involve the person I'm creating the shirt for. So I want it to be for them. Like it's their thing. I'm the designer. 
you know, I'm not trying to sell myself. I'm trying to sell them and their gimmick or, you know, whatever industry they're in. So um, generally that would be the process would be a discussion. I'll throw designs back and forth. Um, there'll be work in progress sketches and, and design progress. And yeah, it's a, it's a very much a dual, uh, a collaborative process between me and the, and the client. And I think that's the most important thing that I wanted to really get across here is not only because a lot of wrestlers uh, or no matter what business, um, there's a lot of us that, hey, I'd like to do this, but I do not know a graphic designer. Um, and the fact that uh, we've uh, over the last few months have gotten to know each other and communicate back and forth. Um, I, you know, this is why I bugged to have you on here because you're, you got incredible. And maybe you feel like you don't fit in or have a, a reason to interview, but you do because I know so many people. Um, and I, I tag you on a lot of stuff on Twitter. You when do, I see yes, someone's like, Hey, who can design this? And I'm like, dude, Rich Baker's my man. You got to check him out. He's done some great stuff. So, I'm hoping that this um, is a way for people to know, hey, I can, I can get a hold of Rich, and it's a collaborative process. It could probably, um, depending on how you guys get along, it can go as fast or, well, you know, does it take, you, you do the back and forth? What does it generally take from the time somebody, if you had to average it, I know this is a tough question, but mm. if uh, from the time somebody, you know, contacts you to the time you have a, a confirmed design yeah so i i tend to not i mean i'll quote generally about a week um week to two weeks but it's usually quicker than that it depends excuse me really on how how perfect the design is you know like if i want it to be spot on for the person i'm making it for so i don't want to rush that process um and if someone's paying me to create something that represents their brand because let's face it anything that you know we do whether it be as a wrestler or as a business person or you know a band or whoever your name and your gimmick is your brand it, uh, treat it as a business so you, you want the best representation of that brand that you can get for your money and there's got to be that return too so if you're paying 50 pounds you know 60 dollars for a shirt design it's got to make you more than that back so it's got to look good enough to make people want to buy it um and that's part of the design process too is where i want to make sure that you know we've mentioned things like the gallagher shirt and um you know the various designs for alicia those shirts were each one of those is diff very different to the last um and each one is a collaboration between alicia and i we go through every step of it she'll come back to me like can you tweak this can we change that color can we reshape you know this piece or or, or any design tweak that we need to make until we're both sat there looking at that design going yeah that's it and that's that's basically what i would say is there's no real time limit as such it's just when it's right you look at it and you go yeah that's it and you brought up something interesting before when you're like i did not get a space invader shirt so um those designs once you're paid the, the what's that process now that that belongs uh to alicia correct that belongs to the person putting it yeah so it's that um so there is somewhat of an agreement on copyright um and that's a long long thing okay. to get into sorry um but you can i mean i can sell the copyright as part of the design and i often do that with um you know with shirt designs because it's it's the person's thing um otherwise with things like the pro wrestling tees ones there's different agreements there um it, it depends on the context where it's being sold um back and forth you know like with company logos for example like i did quality wrestling's logo and a logo for rev pros portsmouth school of wrestling those would be owned by that company once they're finished um and they would have bought the copyright to those designs during that process whereas something like a t-shirt design um i know that with uh, with a couple of them i sold them on my old smack talk store so i retained the the copyright but i i had an agreement with the people that i was doing the designs for where i would give them a royalty uh in return for me being able to use their image as part of the design i was gonna say is there ever any fear then that you create a design like the bullet club where it's just massive and it's everywhere and you're like shit i what sold that for gaijin club like yeah yeah, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. so that is a very you 
I just want people to realize what a great, very easy to work with, very communicative. So if I'm somebody watching this, I'm a band, I'm a wrestler, I'm an MMA guy, I'm in any business, and I've been looking for a graphic guy, style and profile, Rich Baker. I mean, um, there should be no fear. People should be able to contact you and go, hey, you're, you're going you're gonna to treat them uh, either like, hey, like most people like me, like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Or if they have an idea, hey, let's do this. I mean, you're very flexible is what I'm saying is what you have to be, right, in this business. Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm always, you know, always open to ideas and always happy to listen. Um, and if, you know, anyone can come to me and just go, hey, can you do this for me? very rarely will i say no um you know if, if or if it's something that is outside of my skill set i know people who can do it you know there are certain styles that aren't within my wheelhouse and i have collected a list of people who i know are very capable artists that will be able to fill in the blanks where i can't so i'm always happy to do that too for people that's awesome what um now you say it's been like uh it's like feast or famine but have you um what other types of things besides like i'm just trying to think graphic design wise mm -hmm. um logos for wrestling companies logos for bands mm -hmm. um stuff that i mean t-shirts is the big thing in pro wrestling um but what other types of things uh have you designed if any i'm just trying to think of uh, it's so yeah, interesting so to I've... talk to somebody in the business <laughs> i um I've done a few websites for people because um, I built my oh, own yeah, yeah. website for my business and I do uh, websites. I've done a few of those now. I think about three um, branding. Well, I, I call myself a branding specialist. So what I would do is talk over branding strategies with small businesses. For example, uh, baby bomb, which is a, a girl I went to school with. She's got a small business. It's just her. She's a mother of four and creates uh balm products like uh cleansing products like soaps and, and lip balms and things like that naturally sourced ingredients um and she makes it herself she packages it and she's sending it out herself and she had a website it wasn't together as such um so we sat down over over skype had a discussion where i said look you know this is what i think you would benefit from it's your business i'm not going to tell you how to run it but this is what i think would help you she decided that she wanted to go for a new logo so we we worked on the logo together um i created her branding from that she loved the logo and then said well you know if we've done the logo we need to do the packaging and then from that it became let's do the website as well and it just grew and grew into a full branding package and um through that branding package i was helping her with strategies and marketing and various other avenues that she might not have thought of as of herself um and i'll do that for a lot of different small businesses where they're quite new they're not familiar with promotions and you know various things like that and negotiating with with other businesses and networking or, or, or whatever avenue and because i've got 10 years of self or business experience i'm able to impart that onto a client as well as the design element and everything else so it's, it's a total package for a business or or again for a wrestler or a brand or a, a band or anybody so um yeah it's all encompassing that that's you know that's the thing i wanted to get across to because what would you say like obviously we, you know we we love you and everything you do but to that person that that's hesitant because i know a lot of people will say uh, graphic designer but i'm gonna get some kid down the road mm -hmm. that's maybe studying it to do it um but now you're a professional you've been you, you know in this for a while you've i would imagine you've had peaks and valleys and you've made oh, yeah. mistakes early on and know mm -hmm. what to expect but what do you say to that person that's going hey i maybe want a brand i want to do all these things that rich is talking about on this podcast here but um you know what what is my budget going to be like how am i going to you know i'm afraid to to commit mm. but the importance of branding um with a professional like yourself mm. versus going hey i'm going to save a few dollars and try to get my best friend's daughter's neighbor's uncle to do it yeah i mean i would i would never put down anyone that's coming into that industry you know or in any industry because i think it's important that we all you know remember that we start somewhere 
we've all been that kid on Fiverr, you know, and there's no shame in it. But the important thing to remember when you're branding, say for example, a business, um, think about a company like, I don't know, like Nike with the swoosh, right? Someone got paid to create that swoosh. Now, how much money do you think that swoosh is worth to Nike? Because it's recognized every, is it swoosh or swish? Now I think of it. Swoosh, I think we'll go swoosh. Is it swoosh? Uh, yeah. Swoosh now, whatever. Um, I don't wear their stuff. They don't pay me to. Uh, no, so, um, but yeah, for example, that that is probably worth millions to that company. They didn't pay millions to have it made, but they definitely paid more than five pound. So my argument is, and, and how I price things is, what is its value to you? If I create your business a logo and I charge you, say, a hundred pounds for that logo, and that logo then generates you 10,000 pounds worth of business, you can see the value. Um, but if I, if I came to you just as things are, and you have no inherent understanding of what that value would be down the line, and I go, it's a hundred pounds for a logo. And you go, no, that's way too much money. And you pay half that, a quarter of that and get something half or a quarter of the standard. It's not going to be worth as much down the line. Do you see what I'm kind of getting at? I don't know if I'm Yeah, a hundred percent. That, that's kind of why I wanted to go. Mm. Cause I wasn't trying to bag on people. I just know yeah, a lot no. of people, mm. that perception of value. And I want to say for people watching this across the world that we are not limited because you are in the Isle of Wight. We're not limited to pounds. Mm -hmm. Alicia is obviously in Canada. A lot of pro wrestlers in America, North America, Cody Rhodes, Karrion Cross, that you're able to to figure that out in in the currency that the that the people are using. Um, mm -hmm. What are you now? It's important to important yeah. to expand on that a little as well because obviously in the world that we're in currently with COVID and everything, boundaries now are irrelevant because we're all you know we're all where we are but we're all in a digital world more so now than we ever have been and with zoom taking off you know digital platforms and, and crossovers like that we can you know you and i can talk from different sides of the world it's just amazing and you can work with anybody no matter what the location cool so if i have an if i have an idea or even if i don't have an idea and i say rich mm -hmm. I'm a pro wrestler. My name is Justin Clapper. Here's kind of what I do in my history. I can um, almost like a consultancy, maybe sit down um, and look at the, the brand concepts uh, from you. And that's what I want to make sure that people know that it's important. You're not just going, hey, here's my idea, this and that. But what you said, you've gone back and forth with Alicia Toot, uh, designing stuff mm -hmm. that you genuinely, and you wouldn't if you didn't, weren't in the business of what you're doing you genuinely care you're not just going yes you're yeah. and that's what i want to get across you're not a guy going hey mm. here's a little swoosh looks like a check mark that's yours bank pay me you're in that process yeah, this every is step of the way far more than that mm. the actually just picking back up on the um the recurring theme of the gallagher shirt for alicia that is a prime example of how far i'll go into a design for someone because there are at least i think there's half a dozen easter eggs in that shirt for alicia fans oh well i'm gonna have to take so, a better um, look at that that's yeah cool. but i can i can clue you in on one the high score is or was her subscriber count at the time the design was done that's one of them Very cool. <laughs> and the rest i'll leave for others to find well, good. Now hey, we got to go back and on uh, social media and look at Alicia's shirt and try to figure that out. That's awesome. I'm still waiting for her to do the second run of them because I want one. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to. Everybody who's watching this, uh, ask Alicia to do a second run of them. And I, I want Alicia to do. I can, for a while it was entertaining me when she was doing the blink challenge on the the iPhone. Oh, the six second thing. Oh, she hates yeah, that. And yeah, I can't. Yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed that too. <laughs> oh man I, I wanted somebody i'm like please string together her reactions because they were hilarious so i had actually this um no one knows about this so this is, i suppose they call it in the biz an exclusive if you like exclusive. Um, on the first show i had planned if if she and when she beats this six second challenge to, i'd been screenshotting her reactions at like each millisecond that she was out and trying to string a load of them together to do a six second challenge i beat the six second challenge alicia shirt so there's another incentive for her to, 
to beat it because then she gets a whole new shirt out of it. So um, that would be awesome. I mean, I would. That, that's a shirt I would be all about because her. Yeah. If you haven't been on, go back in the past and look at her six second blink challenge. Her reactions are hilarious. She's one of a kind. <laughs> So final final question here, because I mm. want to wrap it up. I want people to okay. be able to watch this and go, hey, I want to learn more about uh, style and profile and Rich Baker. I don't want to hear Justin talk about the six second <laughs> challenge, but um, where plug your socials again. Where can we find you? God. Uh, <laughs> style, I'll, I'll help you. Styleandprofile.com. Okay. That'll be running yes. across here. And you'll be able to see your portfolio. Rich at Rich Baker Art on Twitter. Capital Rich, yeah. Capital Baker, Capital Art. Yeah, um, and same on Instagram. Instagram, I don't know what your Instagram yeah. is. But it's well, the same I, as my Twitter, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Facebook, do you guys have a Facebook, I imagine? Yeah, Style and Profile Design on Facebook. All of that's linkable through the website, styleandprofile.com. So awesome. That would be and the then easiest a, way. And then I want to give you your, your final words. Uh, what can, you know, just just... Feast or famine, right now you're in a feast, but it, you know, with the world we're living in and then just mm -hmm. your business in general, you could have uh, 47 de designs to do this week and next week you could be here in crickets chirping. So um, get in, get out. But from but if I email you yeah. or send you a direct message, I'm gonna hear, we've got some time differences to deal with, but y you get back within 24 hours, I imagine. Yeah, I usually don't sleep very well, so uh, you'll get a response pretty quick, whatever time zone it is. Actually, Tamatonga will attest to that because I negotiated the Bullet Club block party shirt until 5 a.m. my time, so um, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> that was, awesome. That was a fun night. <laughs> so yeah, get on styleandprofile.com, uh, hit Rich Baker up uh, on his Twitter, um, but check out some designs. And if you're even remotely thinking about doing this, there's no, nothing better than this is an open invitation to, to contact Rich and uh, hopefully get the ball rolling on some, some great designs. So, and I know um, an exclusive here, we are going to over in the night, hopefully before the holiday season, we're going to have an exclusive uh, Rich Baker designed wrestling travel shirt that's going to be out there. So be on the lookout for that. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to getting that one out there for everybody. I had to hit the mute button there. I had a little scratchy throat. Oh, no. So thank you, Rich, for being the first guest on Wrestling Travel Crossover. We look forward to seeing more and talking more with you. No worries. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Justin.